A former Franklin County juvenile judge is weighing in on the current state of youth crime in Columbus. She says in order to see improvements, the courts need to take a different approach. Just this week, four teenagers are in trouble for violent crimes, including a 13-year-old charged with murder. NBC4's Anna Hoffman joins us now in studio. And Anna, we've been talking about this all week. What does this former judge mean by taking a different approach? Jared, she says the courts need to do a better job at individualizing each case and also using a little bit of tough love. Mm -hmm. Yvette McGee Brown was the first juvenile lead judge here in Franklin County. She took that job in 1992 at a time when she says juvenile crime was also on the rise. The pendulum always swings. Former Judge Yvette McGee Brown has held the gavel in juvenile court before. Now she's watching from the outside. In the 90s, they wanted to identify every juvenile as a super predator. Well, that's not right. And it seems like today we want to identify every juvenile as somebody that just needs community care. And that's not right either. She says it's not easy to watch teenagers go through a revolving door in and out of court. Two weeks ago, two teenagers with prior records were arrested at a high school football game with automatic weapons. This week, two 13-year-olds were charged in connection to a deadly shooting at Easton Town Center. Do you have hope that this is going to improve? Mm. Not without some changes. McGee Brown says in her experience, each case needs to be individual. So I used to take great care in looking at all of the juveniles who came in, whether they were held or released and looked at what was their prior record, what was their family situation. Right now, the courts use a general point system to determine whether to hold or release the juvenile. Initially, when I made the decision to do that, I was told, you're holding up the system. You're delaying their release because I couldn't look at those until the end of my court day. And I said, I don't care. She also used tough love. If I've got a kid who's in for his third receiving stolen property, that kid's going to spend some time in the detention center. I need them to get a glimpse of what their future looks like. McGee Brown says an ankle monitor is not going to cut it. They need to not have the playbook in advance. They need to appreciate that if they commit a crime, they're uncertain of what might happen. They might not go home. McGee Brown says this isn't just a problem here in Columbus, it's everywhere. She says it would help if the judges, city and state leaders got together to decide a plan of action and if they all fully backed each other on that mission.